Friends Podcast. Hi, I'm Diane Hunt. I am an impressionist realist painter connecting with nature through my brush. I work in oil paint and watercolor and I live in the countryside of Maryland's eastern shore, not far from the Chesapeake Bay. You can find me online at dianehuntstudio.com and on Facebook and Instagram at Diane Hunt Studio. Hi, I'm Constance Brosson of Steve Brosson's Jewelry Designs. I live in Oklahoma on a prairie, and I make uh, handmade jewelry in silver, copper, and brass. I'm an artist that paints. I paint pastels and in oil sometimes. Hello, this is Clyde J.K.L. I'm the host of this podcast. I am a emerging representational artist. I do historic rend- renderings, seascapes, landscapes, volcanicals, birds, and whatnot. The tight illustrative hand and watercolor, pen and ink, and acrylic paints. And I live in Oklahoma City. And here it is once again. This is Clyde J. Kell, and you are listening to the Artist Friends Podcast. It is Monday, March the 16th in coronavirus pandemic country. (laughs) And this is episode 38. And my artist buddies, best buddies, Constance and Diane are with me. And because we do these things virtually, we don't have to worry about infecting each other. (laughs) <laughs> hello diane hi clyde hi constance hello everyone hello constance hi clyde hi diane hello everybody all right this week we may be a uh, short podcast uh we're hard to figure out what to talk about you know we had some recommended videos but then it's kind of hard to uh concentrate they were uh a couple of uh if you go to um talk art podcast.com that's the information page that i've put up now you can uh, take a look at the the videos and um, maybe offer some input there Um, they were uh, gallery owners and uh, artists and a little bit about uh, they they discussed with an interview with paul klein uh, about their operation and how they came about and the, the theme that came out of that at least for what i picked up maybe Diane and Constance can add to this was the building relationship that these are uh, normal, ordinary people when, when they started out. Sure. They may be uh, icons in the art world and the art market now, but when they started out, they were just like every, every other artist and uh, they love art. They had a passion and they pursued it. And so when you uh, feel free to contact them, but uh, don't do it in a uh, used car salesman's manner. Isn't that what you uh, picked up, Diane, when when you watched them? Uh... Yeah, I mean, look, um, especially Joe Ar- Armhine. He was really talking about how he just started it as a way of um, keeping a connection with the art community and other artists, and he didn't really intend on it going like it did. <laughs> it wasn't a pl- in his plans, really. And he just kind of um, did, you know, change things up as as things evolved, and it wasn't really um, it was it was kind of a natural evolution of it, not a set plan that he had. So I thought that was kind of neat. Was... Yep. <clears throat> Constance, um, you took the course with Paul Klein. What do you think about that? His philosophy on uh, building relationships. 
what what did he used to say that the uh analogy i used to love you remember the analogy when you're trying to establish a relationship with a gallery or or a yeah uh, you don't just go up to a woman and tell her you want to take her home the first time you see her but you know a lot of guys do that but you don't get, usually don't get anywhere <laughs> You need, to, you need to be nice to them and date them. <laughs> Go visit them and and tell them how nice their shows are and you know things like that. Yeah, I love that analogy. Get to know the get to know the, uh, the owners. Isn't that fantastic? You know, I, I I just I love that, and I think that's what I enjoyed most about uh, Paul Klein's course. I mean, I don't folks. Our listeners are saying, oh, we keep promoting. Well, you can Now you can take his course for free. Before, it was rather expensive. But uh, he's put the uh, videos, all the videos that he used to utilize over his 40-some years in the art business, you know, interviewing uh, the movers and shakers. And uh, you can actually, uh, if you go to, uh, it's uh, fineartistworks.com, you can see what we're talking about, you know. And uh, they're all up on YouTube, so um, you can uh, get the benefits of you know. Yeah, well, um, both of them were talking a lot about relationships and how um, how important it is with the people you know, and you know you, you'll help each other out, and the whole community kind of builds on that, and how important those re- are in your careers. Yeah, like uh, uh, Nora Dietrich, you know, she, at the time of the interview, she was the director of the uh, Eviston Arts Center, which I guess is a big art center involved in teaching, and they had a, uh, a small gallery, and they uh, would hold shows for emerging artists, and did quite a bit for the uh, art community. Now, I researched, looked up her name, and now her uh, current job is uh the uh what director of the newport uh museum and uh <clears throat> so uh and she's pretty much doing the same thing you know i went i went to that website i got i got the link on the again folks you can go to um uh, talk art podcast.com it's www talk art podcast.com and the links are all there what, of what we're talking about Plus, our outstanding interview we had with artist uh, Sandra Heath last week. I've got last week's episode up there. And the information, she talked about her workshop and things that are coming up. So uh, uh, it's a good information page. You know, for what yeah, actually, her, her talk on our ga- about a gallery and stuff remind me a lot of Joe's, um, how his gallery kind of came about. <laughs> I mean, they kind of did it as just to get people, you know, connected and um, bring people into into art galleries that don't normally go into galleries, I guess, and connect artists with people, and and that it's kind of the same idea that he had. They're just, they're doing it a little bit slightly differently, but yeah, it's, um, just a way of connecting. Exactly. In fact, whenever I'm looking through the videos and trying to decide what uh, videos to recommend. That was in my mind, and when I came across Joe's, I said, "Yeah, it does. Uh, it it actually um, fits very well with. It's a good segue uh, from uh, Sandra's, you know, last episode. Um, another thing that uh, interests me was Nora talked about uh, artist studio visits, and it's." generated an idea that I'm going to ask you to maybe we can do for uh, next episode uh, to do a virtual artist studio visit. Now we meet on video so we can see each other's expressions and, and then, but then we record the audio portion and, uh, and put up it for the podcast. Now, when I say artists, don't you too panic. When I say artist studio visit, I'm not talking about where you can see all your mess and, you know, whatnot. Uh, We'll start with, uh, if you want, uh, Diane. Diane agrees to this. Uh, Pick up, you know, pick a couple uh, pieces, either one that you're working on, work in progress, and maybe one or two that you've completed. And you kind of hold them up so I can get enough of a snapshot. So when I create the YouTube version of the podcast, 
people who access it that way can can see what but then uh, you will uh, for our audio person you just kind of describe and uh, Constance and I will uh, you know ask you questions or prompt you and we'll have a bit of a studio is it are you are you on board with this sure why not <laughs> all right then for our next episode episode 39 we're going to have a studio visit with uh, Diane Hunt's uh, studio and for you people who can't see the video she has like this really giant room and she's got her art all <laughs> all displayed everywhere she has a super super duper size ESO and okay I'm sorry I'm, I'm making, <laughs> <Not> exactly <laughs> I'm making that up folks I'm sorry but hey it's virtual reality. We can make whatever we want. <laughs> okay. It would be nice to have a huge studio, but yeah, it would be not nice. exactly the case. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I make it work. You know, whatever. Okay. Yeah, hey, you can make it work. Yeah, I would love to have a a, a warehouse for a studio. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. That would be nice. Well, you know what? What I and live in it. <laughs> Someday when I'm going to get, I'll probably have to make it myself, but I was watching a documentary about uh, uh, Roy Lichtenstein, and they, his wife, you know, he's you know passed away, and his wife kept his studio originally when he was alive. It's just kind of like a museum now, you know, and the easel that he used was so cool. He had this large easel. But it had like a rotating wheel where he could spin the art around, you know, and work on different different sides. I want that. <laughs> I want that. So, but I have to wait till I get myself a large enough room, you know, to, to set it up. But that was so cool, you know. And well, you know, we watched the thing Raffi, you know, the little YouTube videos. Raffi, he has an easel like that in his. Little there a little area that they have when you watch their YouTube videos, they both work in the same studio. But when he's moving around, if you watch enough of his videos, you'll see his easel that's kind of like mounted and he just turns it, you know, whatever. If he wants to work on this side, he puts it in there and then he just turns it and turns it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's what I think that would be so cool because I have such a hard time, especially with the larger piece. I don't do that many larger pieces because I ain't just don't have the room for it now, you know. But I would like to work on larger pieces. But uh, you know, someday that's 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 in my future. Yeah, I can only dream about it now. <laughs> we got anything else we want to talk about, folks? Or we're going to close this. This is a little bit shorter podcast than normal, but uh, we got a good excuse. We're all supposed to be staying inside because of the coronavirus. So I'm going to have to chase chase uh, Constance back to her back to her place, and I'm going to chase Diane back to her place so I can be alone. <laughs> <laughs> this is a wonder wonderful. Yeah, well, as artists, we we kind of stay by ourselves a lot anyway, so I don't know that. You know, I know, like you like to like say. Like you were saying before we started recording, nothing's really changed. <laughs> yeah, the only thing is, like, if you were going to have a show or something like that, and you had, they got, you know, had to cancel it or whatever. But yeah, my my show in Barcelona yeah. for the uh, the 16th to the 22nd got postponed, and uh, mm -hmm. they uh, I got a message today from the folks in the Zurich. They advising that all their staff had made it back to Zurich, and uh, that. Uh, they're working with the, the the gallery in that was going to be in Barcelona that possibly maybe June, you know, sometime in June we'll, we'll have you know try to try to have the show again. They're very apologetic and they, you know keep me you know keep me informed you know and and mm -hmm. everything. So um, they actually invited. Uh, they're posting on their website supposedly. I haven't looked at it yet, but they're uh, posting the uh, videos and they've. And have invited their artists to to post short videos of their work in progress. So I'm gonna create something to put up. There you go. <laughs> have, our, have our own own virtual show of our of our art, you know. So anyhow, that's you know neither here or there. But uh, we all have to uh, uh, just be cautious, be safe, be wise, and don't panic. 
it's no reason to go and run to the store and buy tons of toilet paper and tons of food. It's all going to be there <laughs> later on. Yeah, this is this will pass. On that subject, you know, we follow Gary Vaynerchuk quite often, and I think some people think that you know he's just a hardcore cap capitalist. Well, he received various messages and questions about you know this the idea of these folks who are buying uh, toilet paper and hand sanitizer and disinfectant, and then they're selling it for outrageous prices on eBay and Amazon. His thoughts about that. And here's what Gary has to say. And these, this is so important. This also applies to artists, too. It's so important. Remember that how you make your money is far more important than how much you make. And let me say that again so it sinks in. Remember that how you make your money is far more important than how much you make. I think those are good uh, words of wisdom you know, from uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. So we will close out this episode. Say good night, Diane. Good night, Constance. Good night, Clyde. Good night, Constance. Stay safe, everyone. Good night. Good night, Clyde. Good night, Diane. Good night, everybody. Stay safe. All right. Thank you so much for listening to the Artist Friends Podcast for March the 16th in coronavirus country. And this was episode 38. This is Clyde J.K.L. Bye-bye, everybody. The Artist Friends Podcast is produced and edited by Clyde J. Kale. Participating artists, Diane Hunt and Constant Brosnan and Clyde J. Kale. You can find more information about Diane Hunt at www.dianehuntstudio.com. Constant Brosnan at www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash C B R O S N A N S. Clyde J. Kale at www.cjkaleartworks.com. If you'd like to participate or appear as a guest on the Artist Friends podcast, please email cjkale at sign mystery otr.com. That's cjkale at sign mystery otr.com. This podcast is issued under the Creative Commons license. Thank you for listening.